Now that you have Node.js on your computer, you're obviously wanting to immediately start using it. So in this exercise, we will start using Node. We will set up uh, a package.json file for our git test folder that we had been working with so far. Then we will set up a Node module called as light server that will serve up the contents of our git test folder and then we can browse this uh, index.html file and other files in a browser. And we will also see how the light server will enable us to automatically see updates to our browser window as we make changes to our index.html file or any other files in our git test folder. The light server is something that you're going to extensively use in this and future courses to be able to see the changes in real time in a browser window as you edit the files of your project. As I mentioned, we want to set up the package.json file. So what exactly is this package.json file that we're going to set up? So here I have some information from the npmjs.org uh, site, uh, which specifies what exactly is the role of the package.json file. So the package.json file serves as the documentation on what all other packages that your project is dependent upon. So for example, when you uh, set up the light server for your project, that will be recorded in the package.json file. Uh, so that subsequently you can also make use of that um, uh, package in the future. Also, it uh, allows you to specify which specific version of a package that your project is dependent on. So even if uh, the package that you depend on changes in the future, you may insist that you want um, the user to install only a specific version of the package for use within your node application. And also, it makes your builds reproducible, which means that when you share your code with others, then they can also do installation of all the node modules, as we will see later in this exercise, uh, on their own computer. So obviously, your next question would be, how do we create this package.json file? If you are starting a new project, where you want to initialize the package.json file, then simply type npm in it at the prompt in the project folder. And then that will take you through a set of steps which will enable you to configure your package.json file. So let's proceed with that for our git test project. So here I am in the git test folder in my terminal window. Make sure that you also open a terminal window or a command window and then go to the git test folder. And at the prompt, type npm init and then follow along the questions that are asked. So for the name of the project, we'll just leave it as the default git test. For version, we'll just leave it as 1.0.0. We can edit that later. For description, this is a test directory to learn git and node. Doesn't matter, type some description there. And then the entry point, I would just say index.html. Uh, usually, if it is a node package, the entry point would be index.js. Now, this uh, uh, folder that we have set up is a index.html uh, based folder. So that's why I just type in index.html, test command, nothing, get repository. If we had uh, already set up the get repository in the previous uh, exercise, it will automatically prompt that for you. If not, this would be empty and give you an option to, to type in the git repository URL in case you're using an online git repository. Some keywords for your project, which I'm going to leave blank. Author, type your name. Let's be narcissistic. 
and license and then it will show you the configuration of the package.json file in json format so if you're familiar with json this will look very very familiar to you so if this looks all good let's just say okay and then that results in the creation of the package.json file so now if you list the folder contents you would see the package.json file in the folder contents open the git test folder in um, your favorite editor and then take a look at the contents of package.json file in your editor as the next step we will learn how we can install a node module using npm the node package manager so we're going to install this node module called as light server the light server will serve up the contents of this git test folder in a server that it starts up so that you can view the contents in a browser given that we have an index.html file if we serve up this folder then it will be a website and you can view the index.html in a uh, browser so let's set up the light server and then we will see how we can make use of the light server to serve up the contents of this folder this is very very useful because if you are working on a web development project you want to see the live version of your web development project so that as you make changes to your project you can see the changes immediately reflected in the browser so this is a very good node package that is very useful for this purpose so let's set up the light server to do that add the prompt type in npm install so notice if you want npm to install a node package this is how you're going to invoke it and then you'd say light server and then we also want to save the fact that our project is using the light server so we will save this information in the package.json file so to do that we're going to type in minus minus save dev now the save dev option specifies that this light server is used for development dependency for our project if you are installing a node module on which your project is directly dependent on then you would install it by simply saying minus minus save option uh, so let's go ahead and install it and uh, you wait patiently for the installation to take place it'll take all of a few minutes for that to complete its installation once that is installed then you would immediately notice when you look at the contents of your folder you will immediately notice that there is a folder there created named node underscore modules now if you go into the node underscore module you will see a whole bunch of other subfolders in there which contain uh, uh, node modules which are necessary for the light server node module and so on so let's take a quick tour of the node modules folder to see what the contents of these are going to my git test folder if you go into the node modules folder you would see as i said a whole bunch of um, subfolders there normally you don't need to be venturing into the node modules folder um, they just exist there because they are needed for the light server so as you browse through you should notice a folder named light server here when you go into the light server folder note in particular the presence of the index.js file and then a package.json file and several other things so this contents of this folder comprises the light server node module but this light server node module is dependent on other node modules to provide it with some additional functionality so that's the reason when you install the light server node module it will in turn install many other node modules on which the light server itself is dependent on so that's the reason why you see that um, explosion of those folders inside the node modules folder 
don't be too concerned about it. The sum total of all this will not be more than a few um, tens of megabytes. So it is not going to fill up your directory with uh, junk. This is all essential for Node to be able to help you. In case you are curious about the Light Server and how it works and so on, you can always go down to this GitHub site where the Light Server is hosted and then look up the documentation for Light Server. I will introduce you to whatever you need to know about Light Server as we go through this course and the remaining courses. So you don't need to worry too much about it, but just in case you're curious, you can always go to this site to find out more details about Light Server. The link is provided in your exercise instructions and the additional um, uh, resources uh, part of this lesson. Once you have completed that, then head over to the um, editor where you have uh, the folder, git test folder open, and then view the contents of the package.json file. So you would see that the package.json file contains exactly the information that you configured with your NPM in it. So you would see the name, version, and repository, author, and in particular, note this um, information here says dev dependencies. So, and then it specifies the light server, and also notice it says hat 2.2.2. So which means that this particular project depends upon light server that is at least version 2.2.2 .2 or higher. So uh, this is very useful for us. Now, why, why do we need this information here? Later on, when you go to the other exercises, you will notice that when you store this on an online repository, you don't want to be storing everything in your node modules folder. We will only be storing information um, of all the files that we have created. The node modules folder can always be recreated by typing npm install at our uh, command prompt. And then based upon the dev dependencies and dependencies that are listed in the package or JSON file, all the node modules that your project depends on will automatically be installed. We will see that uh, later on, um, on how to use npm install um, in this uh, course. Now, now that we are at uh, package.json file, let's make a couple of edits so that we will be able to uh, make use of the light server to serve up the content. So uh, right here in, in this um, um, option called scripts, let's add in one more here. So we will say start. So start is a command that uh, NPM supports, which enables you to specify a bunch of things that will be um, started. So later on, we will see how we make use of this. So here I'm going to say npm run light. And after the test, I'm going to add in one more entry called light, which I will configure as light server. Okay. With these changes, let's save the package.json file. And then now our project is configured so that now if you start the light server, the contents of your folder will be now served up in your favorite browser. Heading back to our command prompt, add the prompt. If I type npm start, now you see why I put that entry called start into my package.json file. So if I say npm start, whatever that start is configured as in the uh, package.json file, we specified that as npm run light, and then light was specified as light server. So essentially we are saying start the light server. So once I type npm start, it will start the light server and it'll serve up 
the contents of this folder. Now, how do you access the contents of this folder? If you want to access it locally, you will access it by specifying the, um, the URL as localhost colon 3000. This is the default settings for the light server. Furthermore, this should automatically open the uh, browser window of your default browser and then show the contents of index.html in that browser window. Here, you can see that I have opened my editor and my browser window directed at localhost 3000 simultaneously side by side so that we can see how the browser window will immediately reflect any changes that we make to our um, files in the git test folder. So let me go to index.html and then for the sake of space, I'm going to turn that over. And then, so here you can see that this is the contents of this. And then now let me add in one more paragraph. and save the changes. And then you would immediately notice that the change that I made to my index.html file is reflected into my browser. This provides a very nice way of being able to observe in real time the changes that you make to your code being reflected into your browser. So when you are working on a project, it will be very appropriate for you to be able to see the changes immediately. So when you make a change and then save the file, the modified code is immediately loaded into your browser. So you can immediately see the change being reflected in your browser window. This is a very useful tool while you are doing development of your project. That is the reason why I introduce you to the light server and set it up so that we can make use of it as we develop the website in this course. If you recall, we had already set up our git test folder to be a git repository. So uh, checking again, we will see that we already have three commits in our git repository. And this git repository is already mirrored to our online git repository which we have set up in the previous exercise, either at Bitbucket or GitHub. My um, Git test folder is synced to my Bitbucket um, repository in this particular uh, uh, exercise. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how you can exclude some folders from your um, project uh, folder and then make sure that they are not synchronized to your online repository. Now, as I said, the node modules folder can always be recreated by typing npm install at the prompt. So that's why when you uh, upload the, uh, the contents of your folder to an online Git repository, or when you do a commit of the folder to your Git repository, you don't want the node modules folder or all the subfolders under it to be included in the uh, commit. So how do we exclude some um, folders or some files from our folder from being checked in into our Git repository? So to do that, we will set up a file named .git ignore. So that's the name of the file, .git ignore. So to create this .git ignore file, we will go to our editor. So in the editor, in the git test folder, I'm going to create a new file and I will name it .git ignore. Note that the name begins with a dot and then the rest of the name is G-I-T-I-G-N-O-R-E. So this is very, very important that you set up the file with exactly that name, .git ignore. So uh, let's create this file called .git ignore. And the first line of that file, we will type as node 
modules. So what this means is that the node modules folder is going to be excluded from our git commit. So once I create the .gitignore file and then add node modules into the .gitignore file, let's save the changes and then we will now do a commit of the current state of our project into our git repository. I hope you remember your git commands. Let's do a git status and then when you do that you will immediately notice that you have the index.html file uh, marked as modified and then the two new files git ignore and package.json. So we do a git add dot and then do a git status and then you see that all these new files have been checked in into your commit. Let's do a git commit. git commit minus m fourth commit and the files are committed. Let's push the new commit to our online repository. So to do that git push minus u origin master and wait for it to be pushed to our server. Now if you go to your online um, git repository you will see that the package.json file and .git ignore would have been checked in into your git repository. Going to my bitbucket repository for the git test you will see that when I look at the source you will see that the package.json file has been added, the .git ignore has been added, and the new index.html file has been checked in. So that completes this exercise. So in this exercise, we have learned how to set up a package.json file using npm init. We have learned how to install an npm module, and we have learned how to use the light server npm module to serve up the contents of our uh, project folder so that it can be viewed in a browser. So this is a nice way of serving up your web contents, your web application or your web site, so that you can see changes in real time being reflected to your browser window. And then we also saw how we can set up the .git ignore so that some folders can be excluded from being checked into our Git repository. This completes this exercise. So with this, I'm sure you would have gotten a good handle on the use of both Git and then also Node and Node modules. Don't worry, we will be using Node extensively in various ways as you go through the courses of this specialization. This is just a start.